We're gonna get in the zone. This is serious, people. I'm serious, Edwin. This is serious, Paul. He's quite serious. And this is serious, Rudy. There he is. He's quite serious. And this is serious, Tavis. No, serious. I said serious. Be serious. This is legit. No screwing around here, Thomas. This is big time. I don't have a jacket. It's really important to look pissed all the time. <laughs> Gotta get rid of the fucking moon. Alright, chaos on the flip. Okay. Come on, this you, time we're gonna get it. You can do it. You ready? Wait, on one try. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. 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 I missed your moon. Oh, it stays. Hey everybody, I'm out at Benny Hanna's right now and I'm having a dinner with a whole bunch of Magic the Gathering people. It's crazy. And uh, let me let me pan around here so you can see. Let's start with my new friend here, Paul Mueller. Hello. And then you got Open Boosters and Tavis. Hi, I'm not here. Yeah. Yeah, kitchen table MTG over there. You got and there's food, look at that. Isn't that great? And I'll find the best moves. And uh, we got Chris over there, and we got Brian Weissman, and Daniel Chang over there. And we even have some representation from uh, old school over in Europe. And we got Clint and his wife over here, and there's Jeremy. Hey, everybody. Hey. hey. Yeah, so it's a crazy dinner. It's going to be such a fun weekend, so I cannot wait for all this to get started. Bye, guys. So this is what it's like working at the uh, Vintage Magic booth. Everybody just goes crazy all the time, and there's just crowds everywhere. Hey, you'll get, you'll get the tech side too. Well, that's the time. Hi, open Boosters is about to open up a beta starter, and everyone's our beta booster. Everyone's all excited about it, so it's always just craziness. There's going to be yelling over here in just a few seconds. Oh, look at that. Is that exciting or it what? Is. Look at that. Fresh packs. How there many they are. months has this not been opened before? You can smell that 2014. Yeah. That's right. There we go. That is fresh. There we go. Sorry. Sorry. What card do you want to see me pull? You're getting all the excitement? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm recording you recording because that's funny. That's right. <laughs> but now somebody should record me recording you recording. Yeah, see, there we go. There we go. He's recording me, recording him, recording that. For posterity. It's going to go infinite here any second. <laughs> yeah. There's crazy things going on over here in the Vintage Magic booth. All these crazy people. Filming me, filming each other. <laughs> Filming this stuff. This is Kevin from Rogue Deck Builder. And filming this guy. I've been filming Kevin from hey, Rogue Deck hey. Builder. Hey guys, no, it's uh, wait, hold on. Hey everyone, it's Kevin from Rogue Deck Builder today uh, for another Market Monday. On Tuesday. On Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> right, that's usually how he starts his videos. So, okay. Yep. Let's Check see what you're doing here. Good guy. What you doing? Popper. No. Uh, Rudy's favorite format, Commons. We, oh yeah, he loves Commons. Yeah. Because yeah, life is too short to build, not collect uh, Commons, right, Rudy? Got my, <laughs> look, I. I like Popper, it's fine, because it's, it's a cheap format, but it's fun. It's different, it's creative, but when you start tilting and trying to target, and you're, at the end of the day, in my opinion, you're selling a bunch of young, beginning Magic players, and they're buying into a collection of comics. That's my only issue. Long term, they're not going to build and generate the wealth that I feel that I would like to see. That's all. 
Now, gameplay and everything else is fine. Everything else is fine. That's all. I'm just talking strictly financial perspective. Now, you guys, Kevin, when Rudy was talking about it there at the beginning, like, giving positive notes about it, that's his lying face. <laughs> Pay attention to that, okay? <laughs> Kevin, tell us what you, what, how do you disagree with what I just said? Popper? I think it's investable. I, it's tripled up me, so it's stagnated right now, but I think it needs another wave. So maybe after the Star City Open and the uh, Popper Championship tomorrow, there might be another wave. But See, Kevin, harder. I don't know if you watch his channel. He is Kevin Rogue Ro- Deck Builder. He does a lot of market videos where he actually goes through modern legacy new different type of he looks for the popper the opportunities the common cards the underpriced ones to see play he actually crunches all that he makes these long videos and he goes through it all and he's pretty accurate I mean no one's perfect he can't but overall his accuracy is pretty spot on no I can actually speak to popper because I've actually been playing popper for a long time I started doing it maybe like a decade or something ago what I actually did is like a bunch of my friends were doing it and what I noticed is like there was like no net decking because you know, like nobody was playing it and cards that like sucked everywhere else were suddenly amazing because like all the other like rares and uncommons that you normally have access to are gone so suddenly this terrible card is like a powerhouse and the decks were just they like, seemed kind of janky but we found a way to make it work and it felt this is the most important thing about popper that I noticed because I played it a decent amount it felt like original magic right because no one knew about the cards no one knew what was good or bad the meta was not understood and you had a chance to kind of explore it like you did when magic was original and no one really understood what was the best tech so that whole exploration and the deck brewing totally took me back to original magic days honestly that's fair it's solved now well that's all self-regulating meta so yeah it's so much but that was one of my things that I was hoping with Popper was when he got established in my kill format because a lot of I used to put popper players in the, in the same category as commander players, those who can't um, you know, play real formats and play commander. And the popper now has, it's really skilled. That's what converted me, it's very skilled. Now, is popper driving up prices of some like original print cards, like you know, lightning bolt, something like that? Like so a beta I, bolt is up bolt higher? definitely is, is outstretching the supply because both modern and popper require you know, insane amounts of it. But, yeah. So very blingy original, sorry, original print like and alpha blingy. Alpha Royal Spike with Popper took off. Uh, yeah. Some of those alphas, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. Because that's, that's the way you go big with it, it, right? There's still a few targets. Like, I've been targeting foils for Popper because I've always hated foils when you live in a very arid area. They warp immediately, so oh. I don't want to touch them. You leave them on the table, uh, come back the next yes, day. Yeah. And they're literally... We did our battle bond uh, box opening, the foils immediately out of the pack. <laughs> So I put a legacy foil in the fridge. Didn't do anything. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I mean, some the onslaught. Yeah, it was onslaught. It's completely trying to make an comparison the, on a certain Facebook page. <laughs> the standard showed it. We opened up a standard showdown pack of walking blisters like that. And then, so he's got a, like a regular. Okay, everybody. We're going to go back to the open boosters action now. He's right over here still opening up packs. Let's see what he's got. And we're back to the open boosters action. What have you found so far, my friend? Uh, fetch, we got a fetch. Oh, oh. Look at really that, high. Mudstain Mire. Yeah. And it's legit. <laughs> it's really actually hard to get Pack fresh. Yeah, pack fresh. Yeah. Still smells like eggs coming by. What's that? A lot of fakes coming by. Oh, yeah, people, there was one guy just a little while ago, actually. He brought by a fake candelabra of Thanos that he had no idea it actually was fake. So, dude, it was really sad. The guy, he, like, kind of broke his heart, and everyone was kind of crushing on it because he brought it up because he was questioning it, and he handed it to Rudy and I, and, like, within seconds, we were like, oh, that's fake because the color was a little off, but then we looked closer, and he let us take it out, and it was flimsier than normal, and the sheen was much shinier. And then I pulled out my jeweler's loop and looked at it, and, like, the telltale way you could tell is when you looked at the jeweler's loop, at the text, it was like grainy. It wasn't nice and sharp, you know, because yeah. they, they print the card, then they print the black, the text. So the text right? always should be sharp, and it was not at all. Yeah, the right. guy was so upset, he tore his own card in half, and he threw yeah. it down on the table. And I told him, like, yeah, honestly, and I picked it up and I handed it back to him. And I said, you should honestly keep this, because later on in the future, if you ever encounter another fake, you have something to compare it against. Yeah. But he didn't buy it recently. He bought it a while ago, so he didn't pay as much. But for years, he thought it was a legit card, and then it turned out not to be. That just happened like two hours ago. Foil mentor. Whoa! Whoa! 
Whoa! There we go. Okay, this was not on camera. He might have cheated. <laughs> I have to know about this camera. I got this camera. I got it on camera. Does this is this face of a cheater right here? <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Two mentors. Who pulls two mentors out of a box? The guy who pulls two Jaces out of ten packs. I heard about that. I heard about that. So one of them was a foil Jace you just pulled, right? Yeah. Yeah, out of crazy. the same box as a normal Jace. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Who, he just did that. Just who does that? <laughs> Besides someone who reseals packs. Well, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Box. yeah. Yeah, it did. So what do we got going on over here? We got tons of high-end cards. And we got Clint and his wife over here. Look at all those cards. Yep. Yeah, guys, crazy times in the Vintage Magic booth. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.